Today we're going to do a pixie cut broken up into three basic steps. Step one is going to be to cut the hair on top using a three inch hair fin guide. Now these guides let you measure hair while holding it in place for an even cut, which is what we want so that we can get those perfect layers. Now I'm using my fingers like a comb to grasp the hair at its base. Then as I pull the hair straight, I can slide the guide into place. I know the guide is in the right position when my hand is parallel to the head. As I grasp the hair, I'm getting some hair in between all of my fingers. And this is perfectly fine. So long as I have my hand flat and parallel to the head, I can cut any hair above my hand knowing that it's going to come out even. Also notice that I have the guide wedged all the way back between the base of my index and middle fingers. In that position, the guide is going to remain stable, leaving my fingers free to grasp and hold the hair. Now I'm just cleaning up any hairs that I might have missed. Once we're happy with an even three inch cut on top, we're going to move on to step two, which is using the two inch hair fin guide for cutting the sides. Now one thing I'm going to do a little different on the sides is I'm going to try and keep my hand parallel to just the side of the head. By keeping my hand vertical like this, I'm going to be able to fade that two inch cut on the sides into the three inch long hair on the top. Now, these guys do take some getting used to, and it can be easier to grasp the hair on the sides if you have the person tilt their head a bit, especially if you find it awkward holding your hand at an angle like that. But the nice thing about these guides is that instead of playing whisper down the lane, trying to match up one clump of hair to another as you cut your way around the head, you can actually measure the hair so you know that you're getting an even cut on all sides. Now, I'm not a professional hairdresser, as you might be able to tell by the fact that I'm holding the scissors wrong here. But so long as I take my time, I can use the guides to go back and find any mistakes that I made. So now I'm just cleaning up the sides, and at this point we could call the haircut done. We have a nice layered 2 inch cut on the sides that fades up to an even 3 inches on the top already. But I'm going to do a third step and clean up the edges to really sharpen this pixie cut up. So I've combed the hair slightly forward and I'm just barely cutting a slight border into the front of the face. Then I'm going to comb the hair down and very carefully cut a perimeter around the ears. You really want to take your time and be very careful with those sharp scissors near the ears. Now this little trim is what's going to give us that nice pixie shape. So after I clean that up, I'm going to start cutting an even line around the nape of the neck. I'm just creating a border here near the tips of the hair to give some definition to the hairline. And finally, I'm going to clean up the bangs. I'm not cutting much here, just any hairs that go longer than the rest that are along the natural hairline. And with that, we have our three-step pixie cut complete. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.